tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death out out brief candle life is but a walking shadow a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more tis a tale told by an idiot what the hell was that chauncey what are you still doing here i told everyone to go home apart from these two I i'm sorry I, I just wanted to stay and practice some more i, I do apologize mr philip lemon it's just philip chauncey <sighs> Do you two want to pack it in so I can carry on rehearsing? Don't talk to Mr. Philip Lemon like that! Chauncey! Let's just be professional here. Oh, Dotty, my little baked bean. You're a deceased body. Is it that much to ask that you don't breathe? Look here, Lemons. If you put more of the budget into actual costumes instead of pretentiously printed scarves, maybe she wouldn't have to breathe like that. Cravats, Chauncey. They're called cravats. Oh, and if you say the L word one more time, you're going to get a very angry Lemon's foot right up your ass. Is that really necessary? Listen up, you unfortunately alive little slug. During the 18th century, it was all about exaggeration. But we're not getting into that right now, so continue. You know you would have made a much better tomorrow Macbeth than Roger. And tomorrow and tomorrow. You're more professional. Creeps in that. It's all about that professional petty attitude. Oh, balls. For fuck's sake, Roger. Like, let's get some red gels on those lights, see if it distracts from your atrocious performance. I am the greatest actor in all of Britain. What are you, you talking beat? about? Nothing without me. Nothing. You're insane. You know you're, you're the one. In Britain. You're I'm talking absolute by five theatres this season and you managed to get me here. Name the Just tell Philip you I deserve the part of the bay. Watch your shit. You're the one the audience would love. You know what? Don't bother telling him. Show him. What's wrong with fairy lights? Yeah, you see that this is a theatre. The audience needs to be able to see my face. Because if they can't see my face, then what's the point of having to see the show? <laughs> you know what I mean? I cannot believe that. Silence! Is this a dagger I see before my hand? Come, sweet dagger, let me clutch thee. For I see thee, and yet I have thee. Art thou not a vision sensible to a dagger of a heat-oppressed brain? In, <laughs> over to where I am going. Ring. Mine own eyes are the fools. O'er the other senses. Says, let me take it to where I am going. Covered with the goats <laughs> and the gutting blood. But, <laughs> it, but it was not so before. It is not real. <laughs> Yet I will try the last. Before my body I throw my warlike shield. Lay on Macduff, and may he be damned who first cries, Hold! Enough! Oh, and if you say the L word one more time, you're gonna get a very angry lemon's foot right up your ass. That went wrong. Do it again. <laughs> Listen up, you unfortunately alive little slug. Oh, Dotty, my little baked bean. You're a deceased body, for fuck's sake. You're a deceased body.